this study was uh, designed to test whether we could give psilocybin safely and effectively to patients who were taking uh, SSRI antidepressants. Uh, the reason we needed to do this was because there was a good deal of anecdotal uh, discussion and suggestion that SSRIs could prevent the effects of psilocybin, uh, that, that people who were taking SSRIs might not experience the sort of things that we associate with a psilocybin experience, and therefore it wouldn't be effective in treating depression. So what did the results tell us? Well, they showed that patients taking an SSRI had the same experience when taking psilocybin as patients who had withdrawn from an SSRI. So that was important, and it was also important that at three weeks, they showed similar reductions in depressive symptoms. So overall, this study enabled us to be reasonably confident that it was possible to use psilocybin as an adjunctive treatment to SSRIs. And that goes along with the previous evidence from other studies that we could also use it as a monotherapy. And that results really in patients having greater choice, which we believe to be an advantage when it comes to planning our future studies. The patients remained on the SSRI that they were taking um, and they were received 25 milligrams of psilocybin, which we think is the effective dose from the evidence of our clinical trials. This resulted in a very early three-week uh, remission in symptoms in about 40% of the patients. And this was very comparable with the results that we saw in our control trial, where patients also received in one of the arms 25 milligrams. So in conclusion, this really confirmed that patients were responsive uh, to 25 milligrams of psilocybin whether or not they were receiving uh, simultaneously an SSRI antidepressant. This study focused on patients with major depression who had failed treatment with at least two, and in some cases as many as four, uh, previous conventional antidepressants. So they're called treatment resistant for that reason. And it represents quite a significant problem uh, within um, treatment pathways for depression. And that means it's what we call an unmet medical need. And it's something that Compass is very committed to trying to address. Difficult to treat conditions are really our bread and butter. And so it was very reassuring that we could approach these, these patients with a, an alternative to withdrawal from SSRIs, which is what this study offers. I think the key word here is that this study offers us choice. It means that we can offer patients psilocybin in future clinical trials, either after they have voluntarily withdrawn from SSRI treatment, or if they prefer, if they want to continue, we can still offer them psilocybin with the reasonable expectation that they will show a treatment response 